let me go to hell. This is a message to all the Christians on this app on behalf of all the heathens. Please just let us go to hell. Like just let us go there. And we are asking you to let us go there. So you don't have to worry about saving us anymore. You don't have to comment on everything anymore. You can let us go there. We, we want to go there. Because every day, here are the comments that I get. Number one, I'm such an idiot for thinking that the world just popped up into existence. Because what people will do is say, I believe in God and a creator. And it makes more sense because there's creation, so there must be a creator. Not realizing that they've just placed a middleman in the problem and backed the problem up a step. And they didn't solve anything. Because then you have to answer, how did God come into existence? And if God always existed without being created, then you admit that things can exist without creation. So then why can't the universe just exist and even if you prove deism you still have all your work mm -hmm. cut out for you in proving that god is in any way good or interacts with the world or is worthy of worship or which one is the right god you literally solve nothing by adding god to the mystery of existence the most rational response to looking at the universe and the origins of the universe and the origins of consciousness is to say i don't know not let me ask what first century palestinians thought since they didn't even know that germs made us sick maybe we can just leave them where they are and have a modern conversation about the mysteries. All right. So, um, video, man. Yeah. So, first, um, yes, ma'am. Um, second, um, I would like to. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What did you say? <laughs> she said, let me go to hell. Yes. I ain't gonna force it again. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. I was just acknowledging her. No, nah, she's showing her. Yeah. I cannot force nobody to <laughs> no, go No, we can't in. force nobody, but. <laughs> you nah. know what I'm saying? She asked nicely. I thought. She's. She's also an ex-Christian. Yeah, and yeah. you know, yeah. Sean, we've always he's always <laughs> said like that's that's where atheists come from is they they fall off the faith, and the stuff that she was saying just made no sense at all. I'm like, yeah, we are gonna get into yeah, what she said. I'm sitting there like, okay, it's oh, but backwards. seriously though, seriously, yeah, it is your prerogative whether you believe or not. I am not going to force you. You don't. I, there's no bashing over the head here. No Bible thump in here. Literally, we're called. We're called to be witnesses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm mm -hmm. here to deliver you a message. <laughs> yeah. I'm here to tell you that you're a sinner. Yeah. We're all sinners. <clears throat> God sent His Son to save us from our sin. <clears throat> he rose again, defeated death, to give you the hope that you will also defeat death when you die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you don't <clears throat> want to believe that. You're free to not believe it. Somebody let me the tell you. Said we try. <laughs> let me tell you. I don't think she truly believes everything she's saying. I think she's a troll because nah. in her she's TikTok, trolling with a question. But in her TikTok, she hashtags everything. No, no. She, Christianity, she, Jesus. She's da, 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 doing that on purpose. I'm gonna tell you. Know, what, she's I'm trying to get you what she's doing. attention. Though she's yeah. talking about leave me alone and like you're stepping no, no, into no. the. She is not sincerely the, uh, the asking this. Yeah. She's, she's not really. She yeah. knows she's gonna rile up Christians when she says this. Exactly. On purpose. Or it takes some Christians. She's an evangelist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's an evangelist An atheist evangelist Atheists don't want to admit this Every time yeah. I say it on the show They, they yell at me it's very, They're very mean um, they are. But <laughs> It is a religion She is an evangelist mm -hmm. She is specifically trying to get you as a Christian To the stop question, being a Christian yeah. Because she believes Christianity is cancer Yeah mm -hmm. She yeah. believes that if let more people stop being Christian The world will be a better place mm -hmm. They think you're delusional They think you're crazy she is evangelizing to you. All right. Mm -hmm. So let's let's get into what she is alleging is the reason why being a Christian is stupid. I mean, the whole aspect of <laughs> where did God come from and all this kind of stuff, it just goes back to what we were talking about earlier, just a desire to want to feel like you know everything, like you always have yeah. an answer. I believe that's the reason why we serve God because we're not able to think on the same level as God. Sure. Like I'm not finna worship none of y'all sure. because we can read the <laughs> same book, <laughs> right? Yeah, understand that's true, the that's book true. And, and, and think on the same level. Mm -hmm. But with God, there's a superiority that people don't want to submit to. Um, there's a level, of, a level of arrogance, a level of pride where people feel like they can function on their own without yeah. God independently. And this is an indication of that. And what I really think is either she was in church and had a bad experience and she got hurt or whatnot, or she could have got a been in the church where people really didn't study they really didn't have an intelligent faith and she started asking a lot of questions they didn't have answers for and because they had a certain influence in her life she said you know this stuff might be fake so when the atheists come and give you all this logical information it seems to just make sense you'll lean more toward that because the Christian wasn't able to give her the answers that she needed to solidify her faith and yeah. I think that's where uh, what a lot of this stuff happens like we give them a lot of jargon a lot of slogans but it's very very little 
accurate doctrine And by the time they do get it They're so frustrated And so angry And so mad They might believe it Behind the scene But they done sold All these tickets out here You know what I'm saying <laughs> Saying we yeah. don't believe We don't believe that And you gotta humble yourself And come way back down Off that pedestal You put yourself on And realize that you were wrong And admit that A lot of people Are not gonna do that And so she'll come on here She'll be mad It's emotion I saw I just saw anger I saw frustration um, she don't really believe what she's saying or stuff. You can hear it in her voice. She just is just anger. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm yeah. Well, I love, I love the example she brought up because I, I, I'm gonna just say this. We we have a lot of atheists that come on our channel and leave comments, and I love talking to you guys. I, I, I promise <laughs> you. Yeah, I do. But this really is the does. one. This is the one thing I am just lost as to why it's so hard to understand. She brought up the. She brought up the whole. Um, well, uh, you guys are saying that the world had to be created. Right, but then you're just moving the goalposts because when you say God is the one that created it, who created God? It, why why do we need a God if if you're saying that things could exist without being created? It is very clear, even in the science that you worship, that matter cannot cannot just exist yeah. eternally backwards. Mm -hmm. The person that created your concept of the rules of science and the rules of matter and the fact that things have to come before other things was God. Yeah. Yeah. The rules that you're using to accuse him. Of not following, mm -hmm. he made them up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what yeah. are you talking about? The yeah, the, the whole concept of things have to exist, and and we just heard Terrence Howard say, uh, yeah. a, "You need a male and a female to create a thing." He created those rules. Yeah. yeah. Why is it so hard for people to understand that he does not have to follow the rules that he made? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He created a world for us, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. To achieve a purpose. It's yeah. not for us, but it's he created a world, put us in it <clears throat> for his glory, right? He does not He is not bound By the thing he made Right He right. doesn't have to follow Any of the rules right, That he made right. Why is it so hard To understand that God can be outside Of his creation mm. Yeah I the, think I think Before you go People humanize God So Like when they say He and Father And stuff like this This is how God Chose to reveal himself Yeah So when the picture Of the gospel In Christ comes along they know, okay, his heavenly father, this is Jesus, his son. That gives us a picture of love that we can, we as human beings, that we can attach ourselves to mm -hmm. and understand. Those who worship God and worship him, worship him in spirit and in truth. He's a spirit. He reveals himself however he wants to, like Sean said. So when they hear father, they hear him, they begin to humanize God. Yeah. And they start looking at him from your limited human, your limited exactly. human advantage. Like he's not like man. So the logic that you're using, like Sean is saying, can't apply to him Because he gave you The logic that you're Using to think Exactly Like he's above All that That's why I'm saying You can't think like God You think you can think Like God You're fooling yourself That's what these <laughs> folks Are trying to do What I'm saying is He he put a fail safe Into his creation It doesn't make any sense How, how, how can The stuff you see now Come from nothing <laughs> Yeah Where right. did that stuff Come from Where did the stuff That made that stuff Come from It was a big bang Where did the stuff Make How did the bang happen Yeah Where did the mm. energy Come from yeah. Yeah. It existed eternally That makes no sense yeah. nah. Something yeah. has to start something yeah. Yeah. Time doesn't make any sense How could it always mm -hmm. go backward Infinitely backwards mm -hmm. He created it to not make sense So it could point to him Yeah, yeah. It, It's in It's yeah. in the thing <laughs> Like just read the book And the universe <laughs> Has a beginning and end Meaning like I, I, I saw somewhere Where they talking about The universe Coming to an end Like how It's, mm -hmm. it's impossible Sooner or later It's going to come to an end mm -hmm. So we can't praise the universe because it has a beginning and an end. It's not infinite. It's not. It's not omnipresent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's I, it's, it's, it's the it's, same you know. thing as is worshiping the creation. It's been a problem for us since the beginning of time. Yeah, we see we see the glory of God, and we we worship the thing He made instead of Him. Yeah, mm -hmm. why yeah. do we do that? And 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 I think the thing is now we're going to we're going back to the tree of knowledge. That's mm -hmm. through entertainment That's through books yeah. That's through all types of stuff And I feel like people Just love knowledge More than they love belief mm -hmm. You know what I mean Because knowledge For some people Knowledge is more um, 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 Tangible Than belief That's what it is You yep. know what I mean mm -hmm. so. People want to be able To see something Like you can't always See yeah. God You can't always Talk to God You can't always Hear God But if I see something I can put my hands on I feel like I have more control over the situation. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put more faith in what I feel like I can control as opposed to trusting in a God that I can't control. And that's what frustrates people. They can't control God in the time frame that he moves on or how yeah. he chooses to move. But again, I mean, she's right. If if you've decided, I don't believe this, mm -hmm. that's fine. That, like, you can decide not to believe. At that point, 
I just I was just called to testify. You know, yeah. you go to yeah. court. Yeah. I was called. I did my job. I, I put my hand yeah. on the Bible. I didn't lie about Jesus. I told you the truth. I'm done. Yeah. So yeah. I, there's no there's no if if Christians have developed this idea that we have to force people yeah. to go to heaven. That's yeah. not true. So I respect we, their decision. I think the thing is for some for for some of us. We know when we read the scriptures talk about hell and it's like you don't want nobody to go to hell. Of course not. Yeah. So so I think that's the thing that she played on. She played on like Yeah, people Christians gonna like, get riled no, up. No, yeah. no, you wanna nah. go to heaven, I'm telling you. And I think and I think um real quick, I think even one of my favorite rappers I think they lie about What heaven is gonna be like So people think <laughs> Hell is a big party Or orgy or whatever And it's not that at all yeah. That's the trick of the enemy Hell is Was made for Satan And his angels to go But it's dark Out of darkness You will Farther away from God Than you've ever been In your life And it's It's torture It's, it's not what you think it is it's not what you think it is. I was uh, reading some of her comments, and um, the Christians were like, "We're still praying for you. You're not lost yet." Like, you know, they was just, I guess, trolling her back. But um, I've had this conversation not too long ago with the atheist friend, where I was just like, you know, he was asking me, he was saying like, "Well, you know, I just don't feel like, you know, I believe in in any of that." And I was asking him about like. I was like you've, you've studied your Bible right He's like yeah I've studied my Bible And I'm like the Ten Commandments and He's like yeah 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 I was like do you think you follow all the Ten Commandments And he was like uh, yeah yeah I do And I was like why And he was just like well because it's the right thing to do And I'm like says who And I just kept taking him down the rabbit hole yeah. And finally it gets to the point where he was like Yeah man I gotta go I, I, I'll talk to you later But he just couldn't answer the questions Because they were just so like Like what like Plain just said Like it's his creation so you can you can question it all you want, but you're never gonna find the answer that he created it for the purpose that somebody said own. in here. I can't remember who uh, I saw it pop up in the chat is that there's a promise in the Bible. Every knee will bow. You mm-hmm. will bow at some point. You yeah. have no choice. Mm-hmm. What we're hoping you do is you bow now, like yeah. while you still have a chance. Yeah. Um, it, I, it that's the one thing that's the most painful thing is to know that everybody's mm-hmm. going to get it. Yeah, you have yeah. No, you're going to get it. It's yeah. gonna be so obvious you can't yeah. ignore it. We're just pleading with you to please just take it seriously. Take it seriously. I believe this person took it seriously. She decided mm-hmm. she didn't want to do it. Fine. Cool. But there are a lot of people who are genuinely seeking. Yeah. Like we just talked about Math Hoff. It sounds like he's genuinely like trying to find the answer. Yeah. I love that. If you're seeking, we're here to answer whatever questions you have. We're trying our best to make it plain as day. But if you've decided, that's fine. Mm-hmm. That's fine. 